Well, both of these guys changing their views on immigration. So how is it, well, this guy is pathetic. And this guy, could be me, just seems to get a pass after this. Change your position on immigration. No free pass for Scott Walker. So why is the president getting to walk? All right, Governor Scott gets slammed while the president gets a pass. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker says that he's changed his mind on immigration and the media suddenly all but calls him a phony. But the president changes his mind on executive orders over immigration and the media doesn't really call him anything, doesn't even say anything. To Bob Cusack, who says that pretty much says everything. What do you make of that, Bob? Because that's a little weird. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, Neil, I think it's smart for politicians to change their mind. You don't want to get labeled like a flip-flopper like Mitt Romney was, but, but Walker distancing himself from backing uh, McCain-Kennedy, which he did previously, is a smart move, especially in the Republican primary. Um, however, a as you know, President Obama said 22 times he couldn't do what he eventually did on immigration through executive action. It's not like the president back then, he, he didn't want to do it. He just said he couldn't do it legally. Right. So that's something that could come back certainly uh, in the legal challenge that the president's own words could be used against him. All right. Now, I, I, I understand people changing their minds. We evolve. Uh, things change. Conditions change. Ronald Reagan famously went from being a tax cutter to uh, brokering an agreement in 1986 that rose taxes. So, so I understand that conditions change. People evolve. And I'm all understanding of that. What I'm not understanding is the media then picking and choosing who they feel ha has, has, has changed. Uh, yeah, no, that, yeah, that's what bothers me here. Yeah, I mean, that has not been part of the narrative, certainly with this fight on Capitol Hill, where the White House has the leverage. And certainly you can make the argument that's because the media hasn't focused on how many times Obama said he couldn't do what he wanted to do. And that's, by the Democrats' point, that's great news for them uh, because they do have all the leverage in this battle, and it hasn't turned. But there's no doubt about it that, that when the president changed his mind on this, the coverage was not the same as we've seen with other Republican politicians. I think that's fair to say. And I think it's fair to say it's a preview of coming attractions in the next election that they won't be very fair and balanced when it comes to covering each side's picadillos. They might be a little more concentrated in this case on Walker's because he's a rising star or whoever the next prominent Republican is. Yes. No, I think that's right. I mean, Walker's definitely has the arrows are out for him because he's had a very good run both from the Republican side and the Democrat side. Why? Because the Democrats are a little nervous about Scott Walker. He's a governor who has won uh, three elections in a you know, purple slash blue state out of yeah. four years. So that's, that's a big deal. That's why the DNC is, is going after him. The knives are out, as you say. All right, Bob, thank you very, very much. Thanks, Neil.